everyone, welcome back to the 13 days of Halloween, day five. It's Justine and today we're going to be featuring So Susie Stamps to make this sidestep card. To start off, you're going to begin with a piece of cardstock. Um, mine here measures eight and a half by um, five and a half. It doesn't need to be this long though, I'm going to end up cutting off a piece. And you're going to line it up at three inches and you're going to start at one inch and cut down all the way to six and a half inches. So now you have this sort of um, cut in the middle of the cardstock. Then you're going to turn it on its long side and you're going to score the two and a half inch wide section at, uh, at the card at four and a quarter inches. Then you're going to take the three inch section and you're going to score it at one inch, two inch, three and a quarter inch, four and a half, and six and a half. So again, that's one, two, three and a quarter, four and a half, and six and a half. Below I'm going to have a link to the instructions where I got this from Split Coast Stampers and you can check out the written tutorial which might be a little bit easier to follow along with the video instead of trying to remember all those measurements. Now we're going to have to score the for the fold line or the, fold the score line at four and a quarter inches. So you'll have uh, here, which is on the one side with only one score line, a score line of four and a quarter inches, and you're going to want to fold that. And then you're going to do a mountain and valley fold technique um, on the other ones. So what I mean by that, I'm going to put a white piece of paper so it's easier to see or hopefully easier to see. This is a mountain fold. The triangle goes up, you can see that, like a mountain. Then you're going to do a valley fold, which means the triangle is facing downward at the top. And then you're going to do a mountain fold and a valley fold. And that's going to give you all of your side steps. Now, it might take a little bit of practice. The first time I did this, it was really confusing to me, but then I got it. And then you're going to do the mountain fold. And I noticed, um, as per the instructions, for whatever reason, I had a piece on the bottom that was too long. So you just want to cut off that piece in order to make sure that it's uh, all one length at the bottom. But it should have worked out for you. I'm not sure why it didn't work out for me. So now we're going to go on to decorating our side step card. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by taking a piece of scrap paper here and I'm going to start stamping the sentiment. Now I'm going to be cutting out the individual sentences or, or lines in this verse here or the sentiment and so I'm not really concerned about um, stamping it all in one area so I just grabbed a scrap piece of paper and I stamped the first two lines and then I grabbed a scrap piece of paper and stamped the other two lines on the on the side just because that's how my scrap piece of paper was if you have a scrap piece of paper that is square or you just want to cut one out that fits the whole thing that's fine as well So now I'm just going to cut out each of these individual sentences here and I'm going to, this is a really cool stamp, I absolutely love this sentiment and um, it's when black cats prowl and I can't remember what it is at the moment, I'm going to have to read it out to you when I uh, do the cards, sorry about that, but I, I do love it regardless of if I can remember it or not. I think it's a really clever Halloween sentiment and, and quite nice compared to your, you know, happy haunting and boo and those typical sentences. This is a really nice one, I find. And so I'm just trimming them down here. And then I'm just going to take my cheese puff ink from Ranger and I'm just going to distress the edges of these just to make them fit more better into my card. Alright, so I just kind of have you on lightning speed while I do that so you're not too bored and this video doesn't end up being too long. Now I took a piece of pattern paper from my favorite things and I will, I'm just going to attach these um, in sort of a slanted way onto, onto, those, um, onto that pattern paper. And so I'm just trying to make it look as creepy as possible. And it says, when black cats prowl and pumpkins glow, gloom, yeah, may luck be yours on Halloween. Again, I think it's just a really pretty sentiment. And I really like the font. It's kind of creepy, but also elegant at the same time, which is really cool. And then I'm just going to glue this panel here. And I'm going to glue that onto my sidestep card. And so I'm just gluing this onto the left side of it. 
and that's going to be my sentiment and then we're going to get ahead and decorate the right side of it which is always the fun part because you always have a nice layering of um, different items. All right, for this part here, and for time's sake, I'm going to speed you up as well. I've taken a bunch of stamps here from So Suzy Stamps. If you want to know the names of the stamps and where to get them, they're in the YouTube video description as well as on my blog. For mobile users, you can click on the I in the corner there, and it'll take you to my blog, and you can see which ones these are. So I got the tree, the haunted house here. I've got, um, you know, the black cat and things like that. Um, all available at So Suzy Stamps, and if you shop through the links, then I get a small commission that is at no cost to you, and that would be really great and helpful if you are going to buy some of these to shop through the links and support my channel, and then I can bring you even more videos with even more new stamps. And all the money that I earn goes straight back into my channel and my blog, so it's not going to waste, that's for sure. So I'm just going to heat emboss these, so I stamp them in Versamark ink, cover them with white embossing powder from Ranger. I'm using a fine embossing powder so it gets all the details in there. And then I'm just heating it with my craft gun here, or my craft heater, and um, until they're all finished. And you'll notice they'll finish when they're white and glossy and you don't see any more powder. And so you can see all the different ones I have on here. And I just cut them out all individually because I'm insane like that and uh, just fussy cut them. So if you have a brother scan and cut or a Cricut Explore or something like that that scans and cuts, then you're golden on this technique, but um, unfortunately I don't have one of those. So uh, yeah, I had to sell mine when I moved and that was really sad. But anyway, I got over it eventually, maybe in like 10 years. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to glue the bottoms of these so that they fit into the side step part of the card. So you just need to glue the bottoms. Um, no need to glue anything else really, um, just to make sure they have enough stability. If you want to glue them to each other, I wouldn't recommend that. So anyway, you just put them in between all those little side steps you created, uh, those little steps. And you can create the scene. So you just want to layer them in there. Um, you don't want anything covering anything too, too much. So I have the haunted house in the background. I've got the two creepy trees. And then I decided to put the rest kind of um, it, on the front of the card and so um, I did, wasn't quite sure what to do with the witch uh, for a second there and then I decided hey why don't I actually instead of putting the glue on the front put the glue on the back and attach her behind the haunted house um, to show her kind of coming out of it so I just had to kind of wipe off the glue with my fingers there and then just keep it held down for a moment because um, it's kind of harder for the glue to stick to embossing powder than it is to paper so you might just need to hold it down with your fingers for a minute or keep it um, folded flat and then I decided to do all the little pumpkins. And what's really awesome about So Suzy Stamps is that you, as I've said it before, you get to pick out individual stamps. It's not a stamp set. So you don't get any stamps that you don't want. You get stamps that only that you're going to use or hopefully use anyway. And so I, ha I was really fortunate to get the whole Halloween release. And uh, I'm really excited to get all these pumpkins glued down. And this little black cat, I've said it before, reminds me of Professor McGonagall from Harry Potter. She's got the funniest eyes. Like, she's looking at you like mess with me and I'll kill you and I kind of like it. So there's my sidestep card. I hope you enjoyed it and enjoy all the layers on that card. Look how awesome that looks with in the sunlight there. All the supplies used again are linked below in the video description on my blog. Please shop through the links. Uh, on the top you can click here to visit my blog and the supply list. On the right you can click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me and then on the video you can click on the video that's playing right now and it'll take you to yesterday's video. Thanks for watching.